welcome back to the Awesome Physio YouTube channel. Today's video is all about how to use a massager gun to relieve tension and tightness into your lower back. So this is a standard mid-range massager gun. So this is really, really easy to use and maneuver. What you normally find in your pack when you order a massager gun is you have lots of different heads. We have a puffy head. We have one that looks a bit like a, like a shovel. We have a couple of pointy heads as well. And then we have one that looks like a U-shape hook like this. So the two that we're gonna be using in this specific video is the big puffy one like this to get a wide surface when we're massaging as well as we're using a very specific pointy one with a hook so that we can target more specifically into the lower back and around the upper glutes. So it's really important to stay first off that I've actually done this video massaging my back myself. Of course you can get your partner to help you with tightness and tension into the lower back so they can do what I'm demonstrating here but if you're on your own and need to use a massager gun this is how you would relieve tightness into the lower back and the glutes. So like I said we're using the puffy head first. <laughs> this is where we want to get general release, blood flow to the area and release into the back. So what you're doing is you're starting near the spine so it's slightly out from the spine so you're working into the lumbar rectus spiny muscles and then you're working from the upper part of the lower back right the way down into the glutes so you're going down in a straight line so you're moving outwards so you're starting from the spine moving all the way outwards into the flank area what we're then going to do is start to go across the glutes so we've gone vertically originally now we're going horizontally we're going across the area so we want to get a really quite global release through the whole of this lower back and the glutes it feels really really nice in terms of the most common questions about this is on the the level that i was using was about three to four so it was relatively light with the pressure but as you can see here look you're starting off near the near or close to the spine on the soft bit so the muscle and working your way down so of course you can get your partner to do this or of course you can do this on yourself working all the way down so from the lower back all the way down into the glutes again i've started on three on four you want it that you can feel that it's releasing you can of course go stronger as you get used to it but you want it that it's starting to soften through the area so that's what we're aiming for so we're looking at that real global release first so that we're able to go more specific later because once you've relaxed all areas globally, lots of blood flow helping with that flexibility and release, we can then go really specific into the points that are quite tender. So that's why we use the puffy head first to release into the back. So like I said, just above the lower back, you're working across and then working all the way down. So from the top to the bottom, what you're then gonna do is localize using the pointy head tender points you're going to find an area that is particularly tender so it's a little bit more tender to touch than other areas and you're going to hold the massager gun still on those points because what it does it just works a little bit more specific into those really really tender points because the whole idea with the massager gun is that you're combining it with stretching and mobility so stretching and mobility work into the lower back and the pelvis doing this after can just help get a slightly deeper release so again you'll find particularly if you get quite a lot of lower back soreness is that there'll be certain points particularly around the glutes you can see that I'm feeling for here that are really really tender that you're going to want to target with the massager gun that's so just that really really specific release and you're going to hold it there until it softens or until you feel the pain drop so you're holding it on these really really specific points um, you can use the other hand to palpate the points like I'm doing here that are slightly tender obviously I have a slight advantage being an osteopath is that I can feel where certain points are restricted but the easiest way to do that is just find little points that just feel really tender or a little bit lumpy or just slightly different to the rest of the muscle and then using that pointy part of the theragun to release into those specific points so frequently asked questions around this is how often should we do this i would say probably once or twice a week adding it in with a normal kind of stretching and mobility routine um, it can be a great thing to do after work particularly if your work you struggle with soreness after work it can be really great to release through and it's just so nice just to relax into the whole body so I think it's really important to add this release so yeah once to twice a week would be would be absolutely adequate adding it in of course with your normal stretching and mobility and add that that pressure over time so start with three and four and then add it up over time so that you're relaxing it gently into the area. 